Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. If you've been betting your hard-earned money on the Colorado Buffaloes, we're going to have to have a conversation about that. Colorado will play Colorado State this week. And uh, last year, these teams played a double overtime thriller in Boulder. Should we expect a similar result this Saturday? Well, we're going to talk about it. But before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get seven days, all sports, all access, not just with this guy right here, but we also have the bad Lieutenant Ross Benjamin, two cappers for the price of one, seven days, all access, 99 bucks. You get myself and Ross. Ross is coming off of a big winning Sunday. He had a 5% play on the Detroit Lions. I was 7-2 and two with client plays this weekend. Uh, disappointment with the New York Jets on Monday night, but we're ready to roll here again uh, in week three with college and week two with NFL. No better time to take advantage than right now. You can get that at the Major Talk Deals page. As always, though, no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button. Now let's get into this game. Uh, the Colorado Buffaloes will be a seven-point road favorite. Earlier in the week, you could have got seven and a half. You could have even got eight and a half. Um, people continue to bet on this Colorado team. Lord knows why. Uh, they're they're a bit of a one-trick pony. They got a great quarterback, a great receiver in uh, Travis Hunter, two two-way player. Um, I'm not sold. Uh, Dion appears to be over his skis as far as coaching a program in a power conference. And uh, that was apparent in their loss to Nebraska. Now, I'm not going to overreact to that game against Nebraska. I had a 5% play on Nebraska last Saturday, so I expected everything that happened to happen. Uh, we'll, we'll lean more on their week one game against North Dakota State. They only won that game by five points. North Dakota State is an FCS team, and I know some people will say, but they're the monsters of the FCS. Well, that's not exactly true. They were the monsters of the FCS a few years ago. Last year, it was the South Dakota State team, the Jackrabbits, that were the monsters. And they, uh, they absolutely crushed North Dakota State. Uh, and you saw South Dakota State get crushed by a, a fairly average-looking Oklahoma State team. So... A five-point win at home against an FCS team, that is a bit of a warning sign. Uh, we've, we heard that the Buffaloes had improved their offensive line. Certainly doesn't look like there's been any significant improvements there. We heard that they improved their defense. Doesn't appear that there's any significant improvements there. You look how this game played out last, last year. Colorado State outgained them 499 total yards to 418. The Rams turned the ball over four times. Despite that, the Rams led 28-17 to halfway through the fourth quarter. Colorado had to score 11 points late just to force overtime. They scored a touchdown and a two-point conversion with 36 seconds left on the clock to force overtime. They end up winning by eight in double OT with a touchdown and a two-point conversion. I don't expect them to win by eight here. You look at this uh, Colorado State. This is a team that beat Boise State at home last year. This is a team with weapons. This is a team that can put points on the board. And if you don't have a good defense, they're going to they're gonna light you up. And we saw that last year with Fowler Nicolosi throwing for 367 yards on 34 of 47 passing with three touchdowns. Shadur had 30, 348 yards passing on 38 of 47 with four touchdowns. I expect to see a very similar result here. Another shootout, another last touchdown wins. But uh, you give me the home dog, you give me seven points. Uh, you got to be out of your mind to be betting on Colorado at this point in the season. Um, we're taking the Colorado State Rams plus seven points as home dog. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in those comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.